so you might know how you can pitch pin individual notes in Ableton. Say I have wavetable pulled up. When you go in the piano roll and click on the MPE tab and click on a note, you can control the pitch pitting of each individual note, even if it's playing at the same time of other notes. So in the new 12.1 update, they've added some new MIDI tools on the piano roll for pitch pitting notes and adjusting MPE parameters for you. These are Glissando and MPE LFO. Glissando will connect individual chord notes in a progression to pitch glide into each other. For example, the top note of each chord will always glide to the next top note, and if you change the number of notes in the next chord, some notes will share the next note that they connect with. You can also change the timing and slope of the pitch glide. This tool is really cool for adding tensions to your chord progressions, but what I really like is this MPE LFO. This tool is really cool for adding individual vibratos on a per note basis. You can fade in and out of the vibratos of these A and D knobs up here, and they give you the standard basic shapes like sine, square, and triangle. But my favorite one is this random wave. This will give your notes a noisy feel at fast rates. And at slow rates will give you a wandering effect. And you may have noticed this MPE drop down up here. So you can actually make the LFO affect the slide and pressure values of the notes. Which if you didn't know, you can use MPE controllers like push to change different parameters for each note on MPE synths by sliding your finger up and down or pushing your finger. So on Wavetable, if you go to the MPE tab, you can map slide to something like wave position and pressure to filter frequency. So when we go back to the MPE LFO, we can auto generate random automations for slide and pressure. And if you press the random button, each note will start from a different seed. Now you can hear the notes have their own different automations for wave shape and filter frequency. Now if you wanted to take it further pitch-wise, you can actually make the amount span up to 96 semitones so you can get this cool glitching effect. So at that point, I'll just freeze and flatten. Then put it in a simpler, and then make a goofy drop based off all the techniques we use.